I just thundered everywhere. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute. If you watched my last video, I was going through a pretty rough time. Normally I can just kind of push through it and carry on, but I was extra struggling this time around. So today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about my quarter life crisis, which is pretty exciting and also pretty fucking terrifying. Quarter life crisis is a real and legitimate thing. It has its own Wikipedia page and it is defined as a quarter life crisis is a period of life ranging from 20s to 30s in which a person begins to feel doubtful about their own lives brought on by the stress of becoming an adult and it's not quite as glamorous as it seems. From a very young and early age, sort of 16 onwards, we are told to make some very adult decisions about where we want to be with our lives. I was always told, do A-levels, then you'll get into uni, do uni, then you'll get a good job. I was always geared towards more academic subjects rather than the creative side of the arts and the drama, um, which is the side that I definitely enjoyed more. So I did my A-levels, did uni, I got into do like a, a fancy science degree. I really didn't enjoy uni because I was studying something that I didn't enjoy and I didn't want to do, but it was the option that was available to me at the time. I studied hard, I got a good grade. At the end of university, we're then pushed out into the big bad world where we have to try and find a job so that we can eat and sustain ourselves. Help me, I'm poor. So I didn't want to move back in with my parents because I've lived outside of my mum's my house for five years now. The idea of moving back home was something that I was not really prepared to do and I was in the fortunate enough position that I got offered a place on a pretty prestigious grad scheme which comes with a wealth of opportunity, you get to rotate around jobs, it pays well, it looks great on your CV, it gives you entry level experience and it builds you up towards leadership positions early on. So here I am faced with this opportunity and I've got people telling me left, right and centre it's a, an amazing opportunity. The media and the news is saying how hard it is for graduates to get a job and I didn't have a better idea. I didn't know what else I could do, what else I wanted to do. I always just thought, you know, I have this degree in computer science, now I've got to go get a job in technology. So here I am now, nine months into this great grad job that I've been really, really fortunate to get and I've got a one bed flat to myself and I'm living the adult life dream and everything should be perfect, but inside, no. Absolutely not. Tied into this contract in my flat, tied into this contract at work, and, and this job isn't right for me. I'm, I'm not passionate about computer science. I don't want to do a job in technology. I, I don't want to work in an office. I don't want to have this corporate lifestyle, even though it's what we're supposed to do when we leave. And I've been so lucky to get this opportunity. And the same with my flat. I'm really, really lucky to have a nice one bedroom flat to myself, but it's just not making me happy. So all of this was kind of on my mind for a little while and it was brewing and brewing and brewing and I was getting so upset by it feeling like there was nothing that I could do about it until I took a step back and kind of realised actually there's everything that I can do about it and it's all within my power. I handed my notice into work, I told my landlord I was going to move out and suddenly a massive weight has been lifted, a cloud has gone and I've already become this like free person that has, I don't know, I don't even know what's going to happen in the next year or so but that like that's exciting for me, the fact that I, I, I know that I'm not going to be doing the same thing in the same place, stressing about how I saw my life going and how it's actually going. Now I have no idea how it's going to go and that's both exciting and absolutely terrifying. So what am I gonna do next? I'm packing up my flat, I'm tying up my loose ends at work, and after that I am going traveling. That really reminds me of this time on my Garp yacht. I've got friends to go and visit in Europe. I wanna do the whole Southeast Asia, Australia, find yourself, lose yourself, find yourself again. My dad lives over in California. So I want to go spend some time over there and see if I can hop around a few states and explore there. But really, long term, I have no idea. Which is, again, like so terrifying but so exciting. I've got now a few months to figure out what I really want out of life, where I want to be, what job I want to do, what city I want to live in. I just need headspace to figure it all out. If you want to follow my journey around the world, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm hoping to be posting on a weekly basis again. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, wherever. I am all over the place. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.